When this happened, that this part of the Grand Ice Shelf had broken off, there was unanimous agreement among all the uh, scientific crew uh, to go there and then to abandon parts of the work which we had planned before because this was the highest priority. We were able to actually surround the whole iceberg and really take measurements along the course of the ship. They saw the uh, situation really in a pristine state. You must imagine these ice shelves are very, very thick. It's 150 meters of massive ice. This thick ice does not let any light penetrate to the sea. So it's pitch dark down there. And without light, you don't have any algae growing. We simply don't know what's going on beneath an ice shelf. But as it turns out, there is life beneath that. And we have some specialists living there who have adapted to um, the, this very nutrient-poor environment. And that is, is, is really something unique for both oceanographers, but also marine biologists, to understand the oceanography under such an ice shelf. So it seems that in spite of being pitch dark, there is enough current and enough food brought by the currents to, to supply these organisms. It's, it's a, a whole ecosystem which has developed under the ice shelf, and that is quite unique, quite new to science. As the climate changes that we will get more of this warm water on the shelf and this is a cause for concern for us.